You're listening to podradio.co.za. Hey everyone, CJ here. I hope you're all doing well. So, after hosting our Italian and Belgium exchange students, Mattia and Sara for a year, and Magdalena for six months at Babel Technical High, and sadly, it is time for them to return home. In this week's special Hearty Edition podcast, I've had the opportunity to interview our exchange Hearty students to find out more about their journey at our school. So, here we go. First up, we have Sara. So, tell me, Sara, what was your first impression when you arrived at South Africa? Well, the first impression was that everything was different and I found myself in a place that I didn't know with people mm-hmm. that I didn't yeah. know. So, I kind of had um, to create a new life. Yeah. I mean, I had to restart everything from the beginning. And your first impression when you arrived at our school? The first impression was that it wasn't as I expected, but that doesn't mean that it was bad. And I mean, I liked it and it was just different, but I knew that I could, it was something that I could learn from. Yeah. So would you say that your experience being a hearty the past year was good? Yes, yes, definitely. And I mean, at the beginning it was um, very difficult, but when I started um, to get used to the school and the people, it, it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. And would you say that our education system is different from your education system back at home? Yes, completely. For example, we have around 10, 12 subjects and I'm not used to um, the technical subjects because the school I attend in Italy is not a technical school. Mm -hmm. So um, that is an example, but also in the morning here you go to register class or you sit in the quad to stay all together Mm -hmm. but in Italy we never have um, time where when the where the old where the old school is together like we arrive to school and we go in class and the lesson start no then things must have progressed very quickly for you there Um, what was your highlight of your visit here in South Africa or at our school I guess it's um, getting to know new cultures and a bit of other languages um, other than English. And also, I mean, not only um, English or Africans, but also other languages from the whole world. That, yeah. And also the culture, Mm. obviously, obviously not only the language. Yeah. And would you say that you've learned a valuable lesson from here? Yes, a lot. For example, I understood that the world, I mean, in the world, there is not only your little world that you are used to, but it's much bigger than you expect. There is much more people and and cultures that I expected. Yeah. So, what will you miss most when you go back home? I think the people that I met here and like my friends and my family because I had such a good relation now with few people that I'm sure I will miss. Yeah. Please share some wisdom or motivation with our hearty students. Um, all can I say is to not waste the time that you have now because you are gonna regret it when you will be old and you will have to find a work or a job. So make use of the time that you have now to study and to build a future. That's it. Thank you so, so much, Sara. Thank you. And next up is Maggie. So, Maggie, when you first landed in South Africa, what was your first impression? When I arrived in South Africa, I was very excited and I thought how beautiful it was. And I really liked the vibe of South Africa. I also thought how um, I also thought how different it is compared to Italy and how much I could learn from that experience. Something we all hoped you did, <laughs> learn something, yeah. And what was your first impression when you arrived at our school? My first impression of uh, ATS 
was nice and even if uh, at the beginning I was uh, really struggling with the subject because I'm very different compared to the subject that I do in Italy. Yeah. And uh, it's, I would say it's very different from my school and that's why I really enjoy it because it's something different. And, and you, you get know. to learn from yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So how would you summarize your experience being a hearty the past six months? Uh, my experience being a Hatties was something new and I can say that made me f feel like grow like a person and um, I learned a lot of new stuff that uh, which I would probably will never done in, in Italy. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so is the education system back in Italy different to what is here? Yeah, it's, it's very different. In Italy when uh, we finished the middle school uh, we choose the high school based on what we like and what we would like to do mm -hmm. in the future. And uh, one time that we choose the school, we don't have to choose also the subject, like mm. here. And um, I also think that Italian school is a bit more harder compared to here. Yeah. Because uh, we have to do tests and oral tests almost every week. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we don't have to do exam every year, only for the magic year. So uh. that's nice. That is nice, yeah. And we have long um, holidays, so... <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> bonus. <Yeah. laughs> um, so, what was the highlight of your experience of visit here? Uh, I think that the thing that I enjoyed the, the most was the Orange River. That is an experience that my agency uh, organized for us exchange. And uh, uh, if I have to think of the school, I think it's the rugby match on top day <laughs> yeah. because it's very nice and I never did that before so and I really feel the spirit of the school like the song and stuff like that it's very so would like you say it. you've learned a valuable lesson here yeah uh, I think that what I learned is that uh, it doesn't matter like how different people are to each other like if we speak different language or we're each or not something like that there would be always someone that can like smile to you and make me in this case me, yeah. you feel like better and I think that I really, I really found a person that I can consider my friend and I make mm, my experience like better and I'm really happy about it. That <laughs> is good, that is really really good. And what will you miss the most when you go back home? I think my host family because it's my second family now yeah. and my friend that I made it here because Mm, stay your friends. <laughs> so, um, do you have any wise words or motivation you would like to tell the hearties of our school? I think just enjoy the moment because you never know what can happen later. No, thank you. Thank you so, so much. And last but not least, Mattia. So, what was your first impression when you arrived in South Africa? Okay, so when I left from Belgium, I wasn't so stressed, but you know, taking the plane and arriving here, it's a new country, so mm -hmm. obviously the stress yeah. is here, but it was still positive because it's a new life, new experience and new people, so that's mm, that, positive. Yeah, that's good. And what was your first impression when you arrived at our school? Same, like new teacher, new environment, I don't know, new people, and all had to be in English, so we couldn't speak really so It was a so huge much. adjustment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that was nice. So how would you summarize your experience being a hearty the past year? Um, it's positive. All actually, all this experience is positive because like, like I said, mm. we live in another place and I mean another part of the school and we were a part of the school so it can just be positive. I don't see something else. I mean. That, that, that is actually very enlightening. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, how does the education system differ from your education system back at home? Okay, the point is the days are shorter here, so we start actually basically at the same hour, so 8 or 8, but here you finish earlier than us, so the days are more short, but for me that was better because I'm yeah. at home, I mean I finish That would be five. very unpleasant. What time do you usually finish class then? Half past four, and I'm back at home at five. So in winter, wow. I don't tell you like when it's dark, it's horrible. But yeah. Yo, and so what was your highlight here at the school or in South Africa? The highlight is, um, I think, to be strong and um, I don't know. I grown up like. 
far of my family, far of my friends, far of, I don't know, even not our language is present here. We have to speak in English and we have even Africans yeah. around us. So <laughs> that's new, but that was really good. So, yeah. And what was the most valuable lesson you've learned? Um, I think to be independent. Like I said, you are far from your family and you are far from your comfort, I mean, your, yeah, your comfort yeah. of life. And you have to build something else to, to, I don't know, to put your head out of the water and just say, okay, I did it and I can still do it in, if I travel again. Yes. So that's fine. Yeah. And so, what will you miss the most, like when you leave here? The sun, yeah. Like I said, <laughs> I live in the rain, so, but not just that, like a lot of landscapes and even like the life because all is different, but especially the landscapes and the sun, that's yeah. very important. Yeah. So it snows there by you? A lot, in winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so would you share some wise words or give motivational words to the hearties? I think the work is the key of your of your life because I know that it's not easy to work at school because you don't have motivation, you just want to do your homework, it's not done for everyone but even if me I didn't really follow that all the time, yeah, I have to yeah. be honest, but if you want to do what you want to do, follow what you want to do and work on it, that's the more important. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> And that's a wrap guys, a warm hearty thank you to our exchange students for sharing their experiences with us. We wish you all the best for your future endeavours.